Uh, here is our. Okay. These are the Marmaclevis. Okay? What papers do you have here? Let me see. And you need to become familiar with these sources for today, okay? So we have here a Rashba. Okay? Let's put this big, big written. Ready? Rashba. Here you have the Sivse Chachamim Perush Mizrahi. Okay? Anything else? No. Nope. That's all you have. That's all I have. Those other papers keep aside, those keep the separate. So when I say Sivse Chachamim, you understand that. And when I say Rashba, you understand that. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the premise is what is Pshat in Yechesko 47, 22, 23? Is that correct? Yes. Let's go. I got it. Don't you worry anything. I, uh, I come prepared. You know, I bring it all, everything. There's nothing I don't, uh, I don't bring. You know it? Just wrap on this. Okay. It's right. <laughs> yes, the Mizrahi commentary on Sif Sikh Chami was a great yes. page. <laughs> 47, 22, 23. Right? You trust my, my, my laning here? Vehaya tapilu oisa benachal alechem ule hagerim hagarim. Betochichem Asher Holidu Banim Opam Betochichem Hayulachem Here it is Ke Ezrach Bibine Israel Itchem Yiplu Benachol Benachla Betoch Shivte Yisroel Haya Beshevit Asher Gar Hager Itoi Sham Titnu Nachlasoi Noam Adonai Hashem does that resonate with you? Here's the words you need to write down. Go ahead and write down. And again, we're dealing with 47, 22, 23. Would you like a proper piece of paper? No. Nope. Why is this happening to me? Oh. Okay. Ready? I'm going to read it again, and we're going to point out the, the Iker terms. You need to know that word, Iker. Write that down. <clears throat> Gare is predicated on Iker Icker, Icker words. Iker, meaning not stam. These are Iker words. You understand what an Iker word? the opposite of Iker? Stam. Iker means it has, it, it, it can, it's the... You, you can actually use the, the uh, reference Bari Tov and Bari Grua, and he will understand that. Those are Iker words in the Talmud. Bari Tov and Bari Grua. Yeah. Meaning you don't literally understand those words by translating them. They're a function in the Talmud. You can ask him his pshat on Bari Grua. I'm going to point out to you now the Iker words. Yeah. That they're not stam words. Ready? Yeah. So when I, I'll, I'll, make an, I'll make a special emphasis. Ready? Those are the Iker words. Yeah. Those three words. Yeah. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Are you going to write that down or are you going to forget that? Asher holidu banim odpam betochechem. There it is again. The hayu lechem. Here is another one. Ke ezrach be bnei Yisrael itcham. Yiplu benachala betoy shivte Yisrael. Yeah. Haya b'shevet asher gar hager itoy sham titnu nachlaso nuam Hashem Hashem. Yeah. Did you identify the ikker terms? 
Gerim words like Hagerim, Hagarim, Betoichachem, Itchem, and then Ezrach is another. It's not Ger, but it's in the same Meichin as Ger, right? Bnei Yisrael is one of them, and Gar Hager Itoi. Yeah, those are not literal words. No, you cannot translate them literally. No. For example, Bnei Yisrael is not the children of Israel. It's the Jewish people of the Chumash are called Bnei Yisrael. Yeah. The Gerim are not called Bnei Yisrael. They're called the people. Yeah. These are Iker terms. There's a Chachma to it. You understand? Yeah. The next place we go to is the Malbim. Yeah. 22-23. Linked together. And it's the Bior Hamilus in the Malbim. You understand what that is? The explanation of the words. Not the regular ah, Malbim. So he, he probably didn't even look at the right Malbim, did he? May not have to be Amilus. You got to get that, don't you? Ah. <laughs> now before we go to the Malbim, let's look at Rashi. 23. Gear. Hagar Gar Hagir Itoi. Yeah. It's twenty-three. Yeah. Shinizgayir Begoila Betoch Oso Shevet. The word is Shinizgayir. Yeah. Everybody on planet Earth will say that's a convert. Yeah. Would you please look at your Rashba? Yeah. Look at your Rashba. And read the Rashba. Uh whereabouts? Read the Rashba. That's 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 the Rashba. Read, yes, read it, please. Um, divrei ha Rashba mavua, de din ger shenit gayer. Ah, there's a word shenit gayer, correct? Yeah. Keep going. Amur af begerus de ger toshav. Ah, so it's not only a convert, is it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here Rashi says shenis gayer. Yeah. Already we could stop this expo from that point on. And I told you to quote the Rashba, and that wasn't good enough. Rashi says, Shin is Gair, Gar ha Gair Itoi, Shin is Gair, Shin is Gair. Already I should be out of a job, but I'm done. Why wasn't that enough when, I, when we did this last week? So now we already have precedent in Rashi, right? The Mitsudas Sion will take us to our Vaikra 16. Keep that in the back burner. Also, uh, who else is going to take us there? The Malbim is going to take us there as well. And that's, a, that's all that's going to take us there, and that's enough. It's, it's enough to get us there. Okay? Yeah. And you can quote the Mitsudas David on 22, who says, Shin is Gairu. So he's actually going to say the 22, as opposed to 23, is also Shin is Gairu. And they're considered Ger Gamor. He's saying that those are converts. Is that a, is that a stira to the Rashba? No. Because he says they can be both. Correct? Ger yeah, Gamor. That's the Mitsudas David. Yeah. Is that a steer to the Rashba? No. Why? He says they can be both. Yes. Okay. Malbim. The right Malbim. That's the Bio Hamilos on verse 22. And? 23. We already explained this in Torah Sakayanim Achre Siman Ayin Hey. Already he's telling you to look in the Sifri. Yeah. You understand that? We're going to open it up in two seconds. Yes. Sheyesh Hevdel Bein Hager Betoichem 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 Yes. Betoichem Yeah. Ubein Hager Itchem Hello. Yes. Itchem Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Itchem Yeah. Shehager Betoichem Hoshin is Gayer Mikvar do you understand that? Shinizgayir mikvar. Yes. 
Now, by definition, we don't know which conversion he did. Yeah. Was it Ger Gamor or Ksat Gerus yeah. by the Rashba? Yeah. But whatever it is, he's either a good Ger Toshav or a good convert. Vehager Itchem Hu Shiniz Gair Mekarov. That's somebody starting his conversion, or you brought your Filipino worker to be a Ger Toshav in the land brand new. Yeah. That's, that's designated by itchem and not betoichichem. Right. They're actually going to get land. So it's got to be somebody that's at least here. Rak im nizgairu. Nizgairu means it's complete. Yeah. Either complete ger toishev or complete ger sedek. Yeah. But he's got to complete it. Yeah. Already. He's already absorbing himself into Israel. Wherever he ends up, that's the portion of land that he will take land from. His family got grafted onto Levi, or not like Yehuda. Yeah. He'll be with Yehuda, Binyamin, Asher, Zulan, Yisachar. Yeah. Avsha Gar Bain Hashevit Rak Yami Mayatim. It's Jethro. Yeah. Or Ron. Just showed up. Yeah. Alder Oze Amar Asher Ger Itoi. Wherever he ends up, fresh. You give him Ron's little cubby hole. That's what he says. That's the Malbim. Yeah. And we're done with the Cheskel now. Right. But we have to qualify our words. Okay? Yeah. Now. Before, let's just, let's do, let's put, let's put our P's and Q's in a row before we go heavy, okay? Let's do the, the easy work first. Easy work first. Agreed? Yep. We'll end with the Vilna Gone. Rashami Megila. Yeah, go on. What page? Fifteen. Yeah. Or fourteen B. Here's the Megila fourteen B. Rebbe Abahu. The shame Rebbe Laser. Im boyin hain gay rate sedek la atid la bo Antoninus bo beroishim. Is that a Jew? Antoninus. What's he saying? Is he? Uh, is Antoninus Jewish? He was a Roman emperor. Was he Jewish? No. So why do they call him Gerd Sedek? Yeah. Because you have Gerd Sedek non Jews. It says Gerd Sedek. Again, my good fellow, yeah. Rabbi Abahu Bashin Rabbi Lazer, Im Boyin Hain Gere Sedek La Atid La Bo Antoninus Bo Berosham. Already we could close the books and be done with this. Yeah. Already. Yeah. Rabbi Lazer for Rabbi Yossi Ben Kanina, Rabbi Lazer Amar. What does it mean, this Gerd Sedek non Jew Antoninus? Amar Shlamim Hakrivu Bene Noyach, Du Bene Noyach Makriv Shlamim, Yoisi Ben Kanina Amar Olos Hakrivu Bene Noyach. So Antoninus, in the time to come, in the end of days, when he gets, stands for his Tachias Amesim, which is another term for Gilgal in the end of days, like Moshe Az Yashir Moshe. So when the Sajia goes says there's no uh, reincarnation, what does that mean? A lot of the Rashis and the Chumash and such, what we would call reincarnation, they call Tachiyas Amesim. That the Nishmat Moshe will rise again. It's actually called Tachiyas Amesim. What they're saying no to in reincarnation is some kind of you know, carbon copy, like, hey, look at that, here I am again. No. No one says that. 
So when Sajjah Gaon says no to his three incarnations, that's what he's saying no to. <laughs> so the question is, B'nai Noyach bring in Oila or Ishlamim? Because they're destined to re return in the end of days. Okay. And they say Hevel, Abel, Abel brought Ishlamim, and that was before Sinai. So that's Raya. That's, that's what they want to say. Then they, they, hold on, let me take this phone call, please. This is my prefer Riven. Shalom, I need to be able to leave mood. Hello? Can I leave a bit, Medrash? Have a Riven and a Babaita, you might have to take a Can I take a look? It's okay. Okay, so then they, they raise questions back and forth, and I'm going to close this. Because it's not exactly a clear gear set. It's not not clear. It just goes on rabbit trails that we don't need for this discourse. So now we we'll do the exact same sugya, but in the above Babylonian Makor. There you go. There's no difference here other than different agaditas entering inside. Okay. Ve'atanya. Avoshlamim lo kiim oilas oilas in shlamim lo. Commanda Amar lo kravu. Shlamim bene noyach. Bene noyach do not do shlamim. That's the party line. De itmar, Rebbe Eli, Eliezer, the Rebbe Yosi Barchanina, Chad Amar, Kravu shlamim bene noyach, the Chad Amar lo kravu. Do b'nei noyach do shlamim? My time. Why? The man da amar karvu shlamim b'nei noyach. Those that say they do do shlamim. The ksiv Abel brought from the bechoras hutzon and from the choices fats. Ez ezehu devar shechalvu karav lagabi mizbeach. Ve'ain kulahu karav l'gavi mizbeach habi. Omer, ze'eh shlamim. Yes, Noah hides can bring shlamim. My time a demand to Amar lo kravu. But the other sheet that says no. Dixiv, wake up tzafon, come south. Titna'ar uma shemaisi b'tzafon. Tavo uma shemaisi b'tzafon mu b'darom. So there's a, a gadata in Shira Shirim that in the times of the Mashiach, the nations will come from the north where they do Olot, and they will do the Shlamim in the Beis Right. So it sounds like they do do Shlamim on both sides of the fence. Wait a minute. Omar Nami Dixiv. Wait one second. What's the Nami Dixiv? Omar Nami Dixiv. Ori Safon. Ori Okay, so they, they're they're changing the direction. They're proving Now it's our sugya. Jethro looks like he did both, but we don't know what zvachim is. Nafkamina did Jethro come before or after Sinai? Hahu la acher matan toyrehu. If it was after Matan Torah, he was a convert. So it makes sense he could bring Shlomim. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or you could say he brought Ishlamim after Sinai. After Sinai, a Noahide was able to bring Ishlamim. Yeah. So you can say either he converted, or just like the Manda Amar, that they can bring Shlomim after Sinai, Jethro was one of those Noahides after Sinai. Dixiv, Hanaicha Lamanda Amar Jethro Acher Matan Torah. That's works after Matan Torah works. El Lamanda Amar Yisro Koyde Matan Torah. He my equal a Meimar. De Itmar Bnei Rabbi Chia Rabbi Yishim Laivi Chadamar Yisro Koyde Matan Torah. He vechadamar Yisro Acher Matan Torah. It's very nice that works after Matan Torah, but there's a question: Did Jethro come before or after Matan Torah? The man Amar Yisro Koyim Matan Torah he kasav Shlamim Hakvivo Bnei Noach Ketanai Yishma Yisro Koyim Midiyem Amashim Moshom Eishamavu Ba Uba Vinizgair. 
He was this guy here before, Matan Taira. That means gear, not convert. And it's the day that they can bring Shlom in before. And the pshat of the psukim was he came before. Rabbi Yeshua, Oymer, Machlai, Melchamis, Amolek, Shema, Shaharik, Si, Betsi, Dova, Chalesh, Yeshua, Amolek, Zois, Amolek, Ficherif, Rabbi Yezra, Amodia, Omer, Matan, Torah, Shema, Shikashnit, and Torah, Israel, Haya, Kulo, Hoylek, Masof, Oylev, Ad, Sof, Kul, Malchay, Ovid, Oxy, Ibrahim, Amar, Shiva, Shinam, Rabbi Hechel, Kulo, Ovid, Kulvan, Ovid, 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 so, Kavar Nishma Hashem Shaina. Second. And it looks like that's where the Sugiya ends. So they, they want to say that he came before Mat and Torah. And another shot is you can say even if he came after Mat and Torah, he was Nizgayir before Mat and Torah when he heard about the Gula. So either way, if he came before, then he certainly didn't convert. Right. And this guy here is non Jew. Yeah. After Matan Torah, you can say it's possible he yeah. converted. But it's not Mashma. Because nope. there's every reason to say in the future, that's the Raya that they bring Shlomim, is because in the Messianic days, they will bring Shlomim. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we know from Kabbalah also that he was this guy here, non Jew, this guy here, before, with Moshe killing the Egyptian. So when he came after Matan Torah, yeah. he was he was making Chal his Gior from what happened before. Yeah. Nowhere does it say he converted. Now, was there a question asked in the Talmud if he converted or not? Or was the question, did he bring a Shlomim or not? Yeah. Was the question on Shlomim based on being Jewish or not? Or whether B'nai Noyach can bring Shlomim or not? So if he brought it the Shlomim after Sinai, we have answered what? That B'nai Noyach can bring Shlomim even after Sinai. Is there anywhere room to say that he converted Judaism? How much? 1%? 5%? Or 0%? What was the question? Can a Noyachide bring a Shlomim? We answered it with Jethro. By definition, what must you say Jethro was? Ben Noyach. You understand that? Yeah. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our friends in Dvarim. Twenty eighteen. Israel's conquering idolatrous nations. Aren't they? They call out for peace. If they don't accept, we attack them. We conquer them. We make them uh, servants that pay tax. The Ramban, Rambam, say they must take the seven laws of Noyach. This happened to Joshua with the Gibeonites. And you, and you say for Yeshua. Yeshua fulfilled this decree. It's a Pusik. You say for Yeshua. Rashi, based on the verse, you, 2018, you just read it? I'm going to. Laman asher lo etchem. Etchem. Yeah. Close by, they recently came around. Why? Because you just conquered them. La asois bekechol tovosam asher asu lo lehechem vechatasem. Hashem Elohechem. Right? So even though it says that they won't teach y'all, that's the Lushen, that they should dwell with you, in you or with you. Etchem. That means they're recently placed by you. You just conquered them. Rashi. Vaman Asher Lo Yolamdu. Ha'im Asu Tshuva. They're not conquered. They're not conquered. They realize the God of Israel on their own. Who's the example? Rachav. They didn't conquer Rachav. That's why she was a righteous gear who married Yehoshua. If she was conquered, it would be like more of a Yafatoar mitzvah. 
not exactly the same. Yeah. Which is why she's called a zona in the midrash, because a yafatonar can a yafatowar cannot be a zona for her to be a kosher captive of war. Rachav was not was called a zona metaphorically because it didn't, it wasn't a nafkamina of yafatowar. She did tshuva. Rashi did tshuva. Are you ready here? Umizgairin at Roshi Lekablam. Remember our our dikt our diktuk? Nisgairin mitgairim beginning to begin to Megair. You just conquered them. They're beginning to Gior. What's uh, which one? Uh, uh, Rashi says what's the word? The Nitgaya? Mit the mit. mem. Mem mem mitgairin. Which is not the same as nitgairin. Nitgairin means they've been around for a while. Mitgairin means it's brand new. Why does Rashi use mitgairin? Because the Pasuk again says etchem. It's all Russian, brand new. So we just found, found them. They just realized either be conquered and become a gear toshav or do it willingly and become re re redeemed. Read the Siv Seichachamim, please. <laughs> Im Asu Tshuva Umit Gairu Ata Roshaila Kabla Ha E Mit Gairin Dahaka Lo Gairus Mamash Kaoma Ela Gairus the Shovam Sheva Mitzvah Shekiblu Alehem Shegam Ze Gairus Mikri Stop right there, that's good enough. The rest are just details, but I understand. So there's there's a gior yeah. mit gair itchem not the same as nit gair but teichem mit gair itchem to the seven laws we're going to conquer them we're going to kill them or make them our slaves whatever blah 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 they they realize that the truth is the God of Israel they say we're going to do the seven laws lishma that's called a gior ksat gairus it's called or mit gair akshav to the Zion mitzvahs. We can already stop now, and Yecheskel is not a problem, is it? No. Nope. All the Lushans there, isn't it? Yes. Mitgayer ve'itchem, even if you want to say 22, is nitgayer ve'itchem. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Now we're going to go into Bahaloscha. Ten twenty-nine. Right? Jethro, Moshe Rabbeinu says, be our eyes for us. Which most is it? Which say that? Midbar. And the question is, why would Moshe guarantee Yisro land when Moshe himself is in Zeichen? Yeah. So Jethro is like, nah, I'm going to go with my own people. But the whole issue was, and you asked me a question, why would why did Jethro leave? And the threat was. On Pasuk 31, don't, uh, please don't forsake us, blah, blah, blah. Ain no ela loshin baksha. Shalo yamru lo nizgayir yisro mechiva savor haya sheyesh legerim chelik ba'aretz. Now you gotta use some shmakelka. If he finished whatever kind of conversion it was, non-Jew or Jew, that would be called Nizgayir. Nizgayir. Did he finish? No. So but he did finish his Gertoshav Nizgayir. Just not conversion Nizgayir. Why? The Jewish people are saying, Lo Nizgayer Yisro Mechiba. If he would have converted Jewish, it's from love, only because he found out he didn't have a portion of the land. Right? Yeah. So we see he only left because he didn't get bought off. Yeah. Therefore, he did not come to us from love. He wanted equity. 
So he didn't do a proper niz gerish in his guy here, yeah. as they would see it. Yeah. He did in his guy here for his own selfish reasons, which is what people think of the non-Jew. So he was a ger toshev. Yeah. That's what they thought. Either way, he did not become Jewish. And, the, and he's saying, don't do this, because they're going to think that of you. Now, go to the Sifri on location. To a place that I will, that Hashem will, will take you all to. Moshe is saying, come with us, Jethro. Yeah. And Hashem will take care of you. Now remember the, the Havamina with land. If Jethro thinks he's getting a portion, then he's low Shema. When they told him no portion, so and he left. Well, you didn't like to, you want you didn't want to be here anyways. So how do you know that a gear doesn't have a portion of the land? How do you know? Ain la gerim bo chelik. They have no portion of land. Oma ani makayim yechesko forty seven. The haya beshevet asher gear. Gar Hager Itoi. Yechezkel 47, 22 or 23? 23. Gar Hager Itoi. Remember that? 23 or 22? 23. 23, which is the stronger proof of not Jewish Gar. If you have to pick one or the other, maybe you could say two, or 22 is, is convert, maybe. But 23 is lesser believed as a gear convert. Ready? Yeah. That's who they're referring to here in regard to Jethro. Yeah. I think that's the word kfar chabad type kfar. Unless it's kapara. But I think it's kfar. Village. Yeah, if you're staying in Shevet Yehuda, right, you're a gear working on the land, whatever, they'll give you a little village part. Not a, not, not a chalik mamish. Yeah. But if you don't like that shot, Devaracher, im eno inyin le Yerusha, taneo inyin le kvora, niten le gerim, kvora be'eret Yisrael. Yechezkel's saying they get either a village or a burial. Not a mamish inheritance mm. that gets passed over, yeah. right? The Gerim have tents on the land, not uh, yeah. a chiza. Yeah. Who do they use to prove this with? Oh. Jethro. Which pasuk? Forty-seven twenty-three. Mm. Was Jethro Jewish? No. Even by that way, or by this standard, yeah. he's not Jewish yeah. by definition. Yeah. And then they prove it in the end of the sifri here, yeah. but don't taunt the gear. The Havtam is a gear, the gear lo tilchats, the gear lo tuna, the lo, all the gear, you know, stuff. That gear is a stam gear. Any gear you can't taunt, you have to love. So, so now you have two ways of viewing, a couple ways of viewing our Pasuk and Yechezkel. 22, maybe you could say it's a Jew, maybe. 23 is not a Jew. Jethro's used there. But then they blow it open, they're saying it's actually all gear fit inside here somewhere. Yeah. So really, the garum of Yechezkel is could be you could say it's a convert, one aspect, not the whole thing, in its own aspect, it's the non-Jew, but the whole shmir you could say it's gear, all types of gear, as Bava Mitzia fifty-eight or fifty-nine, I forget which one it is. We can look. It says this matter of love the gear, don't talk the gear is stam gear. It's not shy to say gear tzedek or gear taishav. It's just gear. How do I know that? Because the Vilna Gon. Changes the Lushan of the Sifri that we're going to see in two seconds. Do you know what he says? Do you know what he says? No. Look inside. You're going to see the same gear soon here. Ready? Ha Ezrach, this is the passage about Yom Kippur. Ha Ezrach, the Rabbus Nashim. Ha Gear, Ze Gerim. Doesn't say Tzedek, doesn't say Toishiv. Then it says Ha Gear, Ze Noshe Gerim, the Toichichim. The rabbis of Vadim, because a Vadim become Ger Tzedek, the slave version, because they take on female mitzvahs. So you have to marba in the females to get the slave to take on the mitzvahs, and Ger is something completely different. Remember, it says Gerim. Remember that. Now for the Makkah Patish. Ready? Here we go. 
Here's the Malbim. The famous Malbim. On which verse? 1629. Come close. The Sifri starts it off. This is this Malbim, 1629, Oisius I and Hay, is what our Malbim in our Yecheskel refers us to. We've now come full circle. Are you ready? Yeah. It says Gear. You know why? Because the Pusik says, Ha Ezrech the Ha Gear Hagar Bataychem. Are you aware of that? Ha Ezrech the Ha Gear Hagar Bataychem. Yeah. Okay, now here's our Sifri. So familiar? Ger, or Gar rather? Yeah. Ze Hagar. What do the what do the Ross say? Gerim. He simplified it because he knows the Pshat. Hager Larabos Nashe Gerim, but Toichim Larabos Nashim Vavadim. A little bit different. Mm. I mean, this is the end game. Mm. Now we're going to do this is the real explanation of Yechesko, but really locked down. Are you ready? If you learn this Mobim, here, 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 you will understand Ger. Uh -huh. This is what I say is like into 156 Bechinas of Kolator, because each one. Needs referenced and looked up. And I will now make my case for that. Vehager hagar betoichichem. Do you hear Iker words in that blurb? Yes. All three are Iker words. Yes. And you see it to be true now. Betoichichem, hager, vehagar. Yesh hevdel bain ha hey, the letter hey, shall shame ha ezrach. As opposed to Ezra, Ha Ezra, Ezra, Obein Ha He Shel Shem Ha Ger, Ger Ha Ger. They're not the same He. Ki Ha He Shel Shem Ha Ezra, He He Ha Machletis, O Perish Kol Ezra, Aval Ha He Shel Shem Ha Ger. He hey ha yedia to know which kind of gear. Ki yesh gear toishiv. The gear tzedek. Shnehem nikrayim b'shem gear. You here already? Yes. Kamo la ger asher b'sharecha, titena va'achla, shahu hager toishiv. Do you know why? Do you know what I just read? You have no idea. That is a direct quote from Parshas Ray, which is oral v'totav. It cannot be a Jew. It is absolutely impossible to give nevela to a Jewish convert. Everybody says it's ger toishiv. Even today without Yovel. If you go out there and shech the cow and it's a nevela, you have a mitzvah deraisa to give it to a ger before you sell it to a nachri. And a ger and a nachri are not the same. One is Shomer Zion mitzvahs, the other one is not. Right, nevela. Then it says, Uba mechilta parshas Yisroi, ger cho asher b'sherecha zegir tzedek. You know where that's from? You don't, do you? Yes, Ten Commandments. Yes, hmm? yes Shabbos. Shabbos, which everybody except for the Ramban says it's a Gerd Sedek. But which Gerd Sedek is it? A convert or a slave or somebody else? Or a righteous non Jewish Ger? Mm -hmm. Only the Ramban says it's Gerd Toishiv. And that Gerd Toishiv of the Ramban is a righteous Gerd Toishiv. Different ways of explain, explaining the same guy. And then the Makur for that sugya, as it's brought in the Malbim, O Einu El Agir Toishiv, Kishahu Omer Vaina Fash bin Amasecha, the Hagir Hari Gir Toishiv Amor, as it says in Yavamas 48b. You would have to now get up and look up Yavamas 48b and all the Mikras Kadolas of the Ten Commandments Pusik 2010. To understand what the Malbim is saying here. Because he compares and contrasts the Ger Tzedek over there with an Evid Moyo, Evid Lo Moyo. A Ger Tzedek, Evid Kanani, 
are the same. Sorry, Gebed Kanani taking on the mitzvahs is called Ger Tzedek. Look in Simon 304. In the Shulchan Aruch, Shvisas Eved B'Shabbos, look in the Bior Hagra, it states it explicitly. Al Vayina Fash bin Amasech of Ager Zagir Toishev. That's the Pasik in Vayina and Parshas Mishpatim on rest your gear, where they said it was a Ger Tzedek in the Ten Commandments. In that other verse, it's Ger Toishev, which the Ramban obviously is going to say what? That it's Ger Tzedek, just the Hafuch. The, the, the machlek is there in Mishpatim on this Ger Toishev. Is he a servant, a worker, a slave? Or is he a great, awesome Ger Toishev, like Rashi says? The Makor Sugis are Croesus 9a and Yavamas 48b. You have to be able to look them up to understand the context, how there can be two kinds of Ger Toishev at least. One is a worker, who you have to rest him on Shabbos to not build your patio, the other one is a ger toshav of today that is usher to make him your Shabbos goy. He actually keeps Shabbos in the vicinity of Jews so as to not be their Shabbos goy. Different kavanas completely on why he holds back from malacha. He does, however, malacha for himself. He is not a Jew. So the convert card is gone. U besifra kedoshim la'ani ulager yochul lager toshav talmud lomar lelevi Bisham ke Israch Mechem Yi Lechem Hagir Ma Israch Shekibel Lav Divrei Atoyra Af Gir Lechem Parshis Achrei. That it says Ula Ula Ani Ula Gir. The commentary suggests in the Rishalmi Peya, right? The Ani is several: an orphan, a widow, and a poor person. Is that one person? <clears throat> no, it's many. So when it says Ula Geir, the Onkelos there describes it as all the Gerim. All the Gerim. So there's many Gerim for every verse. Right? There's the convert, there's the this, there's the that, the non Jew. So in that Pusik, he's saying it can be all Ger, or we call it Ger Stam. That's yet another example he brings. Then he gets into the issues of Nevela and Shrefa. And then he continues uh, along those lines with blood and the blood laws. Now, Geert, then there's the Ochonavelas. A lot of times the Meforshim and the Sifri and Rashi and the Roshonim, uh, Ger and Apasik, they'll say Ger Ze, Ger Toishev. Ger, no, sorry, Ger, Ger Toishev. Ger Ze, Ger Tzedek, Toishev, Ze Ochonavelas. So when it says Ger, Vitoshav. They'll say Ger Ze Ger Tzedek. Taishiv Ze Ochonavelas. There's a standard way of breaking that down. Because the Ger Toshav does not exist in the Chumash, not even once. When it says Ger Vitoshav, that is not the same as Ger Toshav. Ger Toshav is Talmud, Ger Vitoshav is Ger Ze Ger Tzedek. Toshav Ze Ochonavelas. Kisham Gir Hunach Mitzad Hadat Rach Mitzad Gir Ba'aretz Lolo. This is not a religious discussion of Gir. Has no Indian of what level of religiosity he took. It has to deal with where is he at in relation to the land. A Muslim who has rejected a Zora by the Quran is a Gir Toishev by proximity of being close to Eretz Israel for commerce reasons. He is an Akum and a Goy Gamor. If he is closer from far by, the ye ish ger birachti harafrayim vehu ger begiva bekarov ki ger ayezercha ba'aretz lo lehim ger ha'iti be'aretz nachria hu barachok. Moshe Rabbeinu said, "I was a ger on a Goyish land because he came from very far." The Kananim, there's that Kananim I told you, the ger toishev of the Canaanite nations for commerce reasons. Who are still called Akum, but if they learn the seven laws, they're like a Kohen Gadol. A Nakri that learns Torah is like a Kohen Gadol. For that reason. That's that Joshua taking the seven Cain like Goyim, removing them from the Darga of Amalek and Amim, making them, making them Isaac and the seven laws, Kamol Kohen Gadol, right? But they're still Mamish Goyim. 
until they move into deeper ranks of removing idolatry, mastering the seven laws, becoming a proper Ben Noyek, showing their mamish design laws of Noyek into Ger Toishev as we know. And that's called Ger Toishev. One of the definitions of Ger Toishev. It's not the same as the slave Ger Toishev or the Sachir Ger Toishev or the Yovel Ger Toishev or the Tzedek, Tzadik Ger Toishev. But the one that comes from a distance Shemistama hit Gayer. He came from very far to be this Noahide. Not because he's my Muslim Canaanite neighbor. That is called Gerd Sedek. As opposed to Gerd Toshev. Because the Canaanites are Gerd Toshev. Just because he's Toshav, he's here. But the guy from far away, you can, you're going to call him an idolater? He came from far. He's Ron. Vishnehem Nikrayim Gerim Stam. They're the same thing. If it says, but this this is a ger who did come from far away. Whatever he's doing, and he's doing it with feet sedek. Not sadik, sedek. It's not a male female issue, is it? It's a ger sedek ger toishev issue. Not like the Ezrach. Kihu Sham Zakhar Prati Ulchin Hoysi Fa Poyal Hagar Shapoyal Moira Shahiu Moitu Alam and Sad Shagar Binayim Lomit Sada Shem Hagir Shahum Yochmiuch and Lazekh. Rak Mitsad Poulas Hagarus. What is he doing? Not how religious is he? We don't care how religious he is. Not like business. It's what is he doing? If he wants to do uh, circumcision, he's doing it. Not, I don't care what his religion is. If he's doing it, he's something. If he's eating matzah, he's something. If he's eating the veil, he's something. If he's close by in commerce, he is something. What are you doing? I am a ger. I eat the veilas. I am a ger. I keep Zion mitzvahs. I am a ger. I do commerce with Israel. I am a ger. I convert it. I am a ger. I do this or that. Not I am a gear because wow, I'm really holding by God today. No. Rachman Sad Paula Sagera Sha'in Hevdel Beze Bain Zecher Lenakeva. Nothing to do with female female either. Shahin Timsa Bakumakom Shemin Hashem Haiti Mimaya Nashi Maraba Lil Mina Poya. When we say including or de or excluding women, it's saying what do we do here? Is this a Zman Grama or not Zman Grama Indian? To do. Not because it's male female. Remember, we brought in women here. I have to say we're including male female? No. We're saying if women are here, then it's a mitzvah, kayev on women, a filo shalos, Zman Grama. Yvanta? So when women are here, it's nothing to do with male female. Is it chal for everybody or not chal? Therefore, me the gear is a chal or not chal. Shemora Shapulas Mesave is a chiv. It only has to do with the chiv. Nothing to do with male female. That's why Gerd Sedek, slave, is included because he takes on women mitzvot. Well, Moshe Ksav, now you gotta really pay attention. Well, Moshe Ksav, Betoichichim. Remember that word Betoichichim? He's here for a long time. Nizgayir Betoichichim. Not Mitgayir. Nizgayir Betoichichim. The rabos nashim vevadim. Why? Because he's here, just like women and slaves have taken on the more mitzvahs. Nitgayer. Who al pi hevdel shehaya lechazal bein kishomir hagir betoichichem? You with me? Ve bein kishomir hagir itchem. Twenty-two verses twenty-three. Shaloshin hagir itchem. What's our loshin? Betochichem. Beitchem. And betochichem. Beitchem. Mora al shin is gayer me karov. He re he, but he's here. He's completely here. We brought in the Puerto Ricans to build patios. They're here. It's over. Done. 
It's not in process. We did it. They're here. But they're close by. Yeah. We keep them. Yeah, yeah. Hagir Betoichichem. Moiroshin is Gayer Ze Yomim Rabim. Now, now they're 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 here a long time. This guy became a kavua mensch or a convert mensch, right? So therefore, it's this guy you're complete, and he's inside you. He's deep. See how many components are working at one time? How new are you? How deep are you? Are you kosher? Are you lishma? Are you not lishma? Far away, close by, idolater, worker. Uh, slave, Lishma, Lo Lishma, Jewish, not Jewish, Ugh. all inside, Stan Gerim, which one are you? It has nothing to do with how religious you are. What are you doing? Goy, right over there, what is he doing? He's building a patio, so he's not a Lishma Mensch. Is he a slave? Is he a servant? What's his issue? How do we relate to him? We have to take care of them. All Gerim we love. God loves the Ger. We are to love the Ger. Mitzvah Chayuso. But would me not have him not making me a cup of coffee on Shabbos? Is he just my worker, or do I talk to him? Here we go. Shechin Amru B'Sifri Shlach Al Al Veki Yigor Idchem Idchem. He is new and close by. The difference, isn't it? The key Yigor Itcha only Ella Gear Hamizgayer. They're per consistent Lushin. New, close by, Mitgayer. Perush, he says, Perush, Mitgayer Akshav. Gear Shin is Gayer, Minayin. Taimid Lomar, O Ashir Betoichim. He's here. Either a convert or a righteous Gentile of the nations. Deeply. Right? A new convert brings a carbon off a carbon pesach. A new convert. Yeah. I'm using that word loosely. Convert brings a carbon pesach. Mitzarech limud shelo nita shagir shin is gayer yasa pesach miad. He converted in August. He brings a carbon pesach tomorrow. In August. No, Rashi says, don't think that. When the pasuk says he brings an offering, it's when he can in the following cycle. So either he's a brand new convert, right? Or he started his conversion. And when he's done with his conversion, he'll bring. Or he's a gear, completed his gear, but not in the Takufa of Pesach. So the next Pesach, if he has circumcision. See all the parameters that come in? It's Lashin Idchem. We're going to look that Pesach up in a minute. Look there. He's here now. He came to us to, to either start his conversion, build our patio. We have a mitzvah of chayuso until he's shin his gayer. Go on his feet and settle b'toichachim. Either as a Jew or a good Ron. Jethro was that and left for his family. Why? Because Avadim take on female mitzvot, so he's here. Shehem betoichim mikvar. He's already here a long time. Shabbos koi, thirty years. Shehem betoichim mamish. Slavery. A permanent Shabbos koi ain't going anywhere. Jews give him a good. He's a slave. Evit Kanani, Gerd Sedek, non-Jew. Shulchan Aruch 304. Hello. Ki heim kinyan adonehem. Bedarish zeh shedarish hagir le rabos nashim. Betoichin le rabos nashim vavadim. Betim se od be sifra. That's the end of it. Basically. Now let's look up that pasuk in, in the Pesach. Ready? 
In Parshas Shlach, and then we're going to stop. Parshas Shlach. You see a chumash? Wait, what, what book is Shlach in? That's Bishalach. Is it? Oh, Shlach? Oh, so I have it then. Okay. Okay, and where's the Passover? You know? Here, watch this. A little technology never hurt anybody. Taira? Tanakh? Numbers? Search? What's the word I'm looking for? Igor. Numbers fifteen fourteen. That's interesting because fifteen fifteen should be a convert. Ready? Kol HaEzrach. What's the hey do? Women. Men and women. Every Jew. Zman Gram. Not even Zman Gram, right? Yeah. Yasa Kacha es Eilu Lahakriv Isha Reach Yichoach Lahashem. Make a carbon pesach. Vaki Yagor Idchem Geir O Asher Betoichichem Ladorasechem. Ba'asa isha reach the Huach Lashem ka asher. Tasu ken yase. So if we're right, that should be mash up with this. Then we're done, right? Ha kahal chuka achas. What's the kahal? Cohen, Levi, Israel. Gerim are not called a kahal. The fourth house of Israel, Ger, is not a holy kahal. It's a separate fourth kahal for marrying Mamzerim and such. There's, there's, they are a kahal, but they're not part of the holy kahal, and only the holy kahal is referred to as kahal. Cohen, Levi, Israelite, convert enters Israelite. Yeah. The Ger non Jew is a fourth separate kahal who marries people that a kosher Jew cannot, should not marry. E.g., Mamzerim. Mamzerim is the biggest example. 15. Hakahal chuka achas, right? The convert doesn't have a separate issue. Lechem ulager hagar chukas chukas oylam ledorosechem kachem kager yi lifnei Hashem. That has to be a convert. Now let's look in the in the Malbim and the Sifri. Ready? The ki agor. Ainly Ella Gear Hamiz Gair. There it is. He's a brand, he's either converting or he's Gear Toshaving. Gear Shin is Gair. Where do you learn that from? Talmud Lomar, O Ashir Betochachem, the Dorosechem. So there you see, he, the Sifri holds 14 is most likely not a convert. 15, he wants to make the distinction, is a convert. Idchem betochchem. Okay? Yeah. Let's read the Malbim on that now. Ready? The ki yagor idchem gero asher betochchem. Kavar barti utoris koyinim parashas achre. Sound familiar? Yeah. Shahaya lechazol lehevdel bein hager idchem o bein hager betochchem. Shahager idchem. That's close by, new guy, correct? Yeah. Mitzayin shiniz gayer mekarov vehager betoichem mitzayin shiniz gayer meyayim rabim the zeshik atu shiniz gayer minayin ratzon lomer shiniz gayer kavar ki edchem mashma shiniz gayer mekarov v'bol lomer shigam hagir shinek pasu the bris be'ais matan toira 
So Bola Mer Shagam Hagam Shinikmas Libris. So there were people who were not connected to the children of Israel that became converted Jews at Sinai. They have to bring a carbon to the base of Mikdish. But there are the there were Gerim who did not enter the bris as a Jew. Therefore their 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 Gerkite is different. So there are people there are Gerim who converted with the Jews' conversion at Sinai. Yeah. The house the traditional Ben Avram, Ben Av Yitzhak Yaakov. Yeah. People that joined into the covenant of his children of Israel. Right? But there were other Gerim who did not enter that covenant, but they wanted to stay close by. Okay. And now, uh, I believe that concludes our entire seminar. Good. Um, 17, 17, one second. Uh, I think so. And uh, we're going to, we'll, we'll read the next one. Hold on. Here we go. Hakahal. Hakahal, Ainly, Ella, Anashim. It's it's people, which means it's Jewish people. Cohen Levi Israel converts. Yeah. But it's men, because women are not Chai the mitzvahs, like men. So where do you get women are included? Talmud Lo, Marchuka Achas Yi Lechem Ulager Lechem Ulager Hagar. So women are included in the covenant of is of the three houses of Israel. Cohen Levi Israel. Mm. With Gerim, we have to include the women from a drush. Okay, just like here. O Ravi Shemaisa B Israel, the Fi Shemaisa B Israel, Tsari Lavi Es Hagerim. Ah, very interesting. Now look what he says. This is very interesting. So, Lachem, Ola Ger Hagar. So there he mentions the Ger again. So it's women, and then there's the convert at the end. What is this Ger Hagar? It's a question, isn't it? Yeah. In the convert pasuk, ready? Lachem ulager hagar, lahavi shebe maisa ki Yisrael, lafi she maisa be Yisrael tzarik lahavi es agerim. Everything that a Jew, a, 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 a bring it, shebe maisa be ki Yisrael. Anything a ger is obligated to do, like a Jew. The gear is included in the Jewish Gear is commanded in a mitzvah like a Jew. Karbanot, other things. Right? He is in the details are in the commandment and actions as a Yisrael. This is the difference. A Noahide is has by his own volition not entered into the covenant of Israel. The fourth house of Israel has entered a covenant with Israel. So his seven laws are done kidin Yisrael, not as the seven laws of Noah. A Noah hide that learns Torah is like a Kohen Gadol.
why 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 is an, a, a gear who learns Torah like a Kohen Gadol? Just like a Kohen is more mitzvahs, the gear is more mitzvahs. What more mitzvahs? Bringing karbonos that are shy to him from the Xeris of Kasuv like a Jew. They're sukim. Where a gear brings like a Jew. Offerings. Right? The Noahide would not have that, that level status upgrade. He functions like an Akum. So his seven laws are Akum Dick. The Geir's seven laws are Yisrael Dick. So there's times that the Geir is included in the actions of Israel. This is saying that this is possible. When it says, HaKahal Chuka Achas, the congregation has one law for them and for the Geir, one law, blah, blah, blah. That's when the Geir, non-Jew, is included in Israel where applicable. Not on every law. Only where it's stipulated the gear. How do you know if you're a kosher gear? When it says, You have to be thinking about progeny, infusing. It's betoichem, mamish. If you're just here as a one off, you're not. That's not you. So, you at least have to have a, have a thought of your legacy in Doris. And what if you have no kids? Isaiah 56 3. Even though I'm a Ben Hanechar. I'm uncircumcised with no legacy. I'm sterile like a eunuch. As long as your intention is doyrus, right? Yeah. Then you you can do that. Noyach was a tzaddik in his generation. Meaning, even if he didn't have doyrus that would continue, his plate, his mind was in the right place. Avram was a tzaddik Gamor. It was because he was most or nefesh for his progeny to continue, and that's why the children of Israel came out of Avram. The children of Israel did not come out of Noyah. He was not as most or nefesh for his progeny. He suffered the same fate of the, as the Yeshiva Shem and Aver. They were not interested in their told to say him, but their Torah say him. Thus, there was a Ginai on Noyah. But even though he lacked the progeny that Avram did, his heart was still there, and there he's inside, which which fulfills the Rashi. There's a Ganayan inside Sheva. Last thing, the converts. How do you know that the Gerim are included in the forehead of Aaron and in the Holy of Holies? This is uh, all right. Hashem. Just like y'all, the Ger also. So even the Kayan Gadol, where it's a convert Pusik, right? To a Kohen Gadol, all Garam are on the tzitz of his, of, it goes in there. Toyrus Nachas, Toyrachas, Mamishpat Achad, Kol Akasu Vashebe, Hagir Le Ezrak, Le Kol Mitzvah Shibat Toyrah. So the Gair is compared to a Gair to the Ezrak, all mitzvahs in the Torah. The Gair can convert and do all mitzvahs, but any, any Gair can do any mitzvah. That's why Aaron is permissible. If they are not a ger on that mitzvah, then they're not in the gedder of Yisrael on that mitzvah. Then they're in the gedder of not the Din Sinai. 
A convert says, I want Din Sinai Lagamri. The non-convert says, I'm, in, I'm on Din Sinai where I'm in Din Sinai. <laughs>